all our Herald TV viewers a very warm welcome. You are watching a special program called uh, Sports Talkies. We talk about sports and uh, we talk about different sports. But in Goa, I think we have been concentrating mostly on football. Today, we take an auxiliary game to football, and that is futsal. Futsal came into existence in uh, 1930s. In 60s, it developed. And uh, in Goa, I think uh, for the last uh, uh, 11 to 12 years, futsal has uh, been gaining in popularity. For the last five years, all of a sudden, we have a lot of futsal courts and outdoor courts. And for the first time, Goa took part in the national uh, futsal championship in New Delhi. That was a sporting club which took part. But there were players and officials from Goa who have been involved in futsal. And uh, we have in Goa the only accredited Asian football confederation futsal coach he is the head instructor and we welcome our own joshua was welcome you. joshua thank you sir it's nice to have you as a coach educator in uh, futsal and uh, it's a uh, proud for all of goans to say that you are the only one in the entire uh, india for all of us and very shortly i was told you are going to organize the afc futsal level 1 coaching course and you are the head instructor before we talk about your activities tell us a little bit briefing how futsal came and how does it complement or supplement uh, football okay so yeah so basically first we need to understand what is futsal okay so futsal is an indoor sport it is played indoors on a hard and flat surface so in the 1930s there was a professor Juan Carlos Seriani okay who realized that uh, even though Uruguay won the World Cup they needed to be better, they needed to be faster, they needed to have better thinking, quicker thinking to be able to compete in the next World Cup because he saw that other teams were catching up to Uruguay. So that is when he decided on the basketball court to start a five-a-side football which he called futsal because uh, because you are playing with the feet and inside a indoor, inside a room. So he called it futsal. So that is how futsal started. So futsal is an indoor game. Yes, it basically. is an indoor game. It is an indoor game. Primarily it is an indoor game. And at international level, you can only play it indoors. You cannot play it outdoors. It okay. has to be played indoors. Okay. That is compulsory by FIFA. Because all of a sudden in Goa now, for the last maybe five years, you have so many, I don't, I don't know what to call them, but everybody says futsal, 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 ground, futsal, court, I don't know. Yes. So, yeah. So, yeah. Right in Goa, it has become very popular, the, you know, the, the small courts, the football courts with the artificial grass. Yes, futsal can be played on those courts if there is no other proper futsal court in Goa or in the region, as it is said by AFC. This is just to promote the, to, just to promote people to start playing the sport, to learn the basic techniques and the tactics. But a proper tournament, an official tournament cannot be played on such courts. So, officially it has to be indoors? Officially, yes, it has to be indoors. Now, when you had, you had now the second uh, national futsal championship yes. and the first one, where were they played? So the first uh, national club championship and also the second national club championship was played at the same venue in Delhi, the KD Jadav Indoor Stadium. So it was the indoor stadium? Yes, indoor stadium yes. with a, uh, a wooden court. Yeah, and the first state futsal championship was also held last year uh, in Goa. Yes. Uh, was it in indoors or outdoors? Yes, so that also was played indoor stadium at Chogle College. Chogle yeah. Sports Centre, they have an indoor futsal court. Uh, it's been 12 years now. It's a PU surface, it's polyurethane. It's kind of a rubberized plastic material. It's flat and it's a hard surface. So it it can be played. Yes, it can it be played at Chogles. Uh, even the 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 previous AFC president had come and visited Chogles and he loved the facility a lot. Okay. And he said that it's a good facility. And we have also organized the AFC Level One course, which can be only organized in an Indo in Indo facility, not so in you, an outdoor. So you you had uh, organized earlier. Yes. So YFA, that is Youth Futsal Academy, uh, which is owned by my father. Yeah. Uh, we have organized the course in 2018, 2019 and now in, 2000, in uh, 2023, starting next week, uh, we are organizing the course again in association with Goa Football Association. Okay. So, uh, uh, you think futsal does uh, really complement football? Uh, definitely. If you see the best players in the world today, uh, Cristiano like? Ronaldo or Ronaldinho or Lionel Messi or Andres Iniesta or even the players from Manchester City, all these players have played futsal in their younger days. 
So, in all European countries, in South American countries, till the age of 12, 13, futsal is the first choice. And after that, they go on to the but 11th how, set. how does it actually help? Yeah, so what does futsal do? Futsal develops better decision making because you are playing in a tighter space, better ball control because it is a smaller, heavier ball. So, for kids, when you are 3 years old, 4 years old, 5 years old, if you take a 5 size football, you know, which is lighter and you throw it to a child and he controls it, the ball is going to go away from him. But if you take a smaller futsal ball, which is heavier, even if he has bad touch, if his control is not so good because he is still learning, the ball will not go so much away from him. That builds his self-confidence and this makes him very confident and soon his control in, uh, improves and then when you put him on a football ground, it becomes much easier. So, you, you would uh, uh, promote futsal? Yes, after playing both the sports, futsal and football in the last 10-11 uh, years. So, I have also played football professionally for 11 years, played for some of the good top clubs here in Goa like Dempo, Churchill and simultaneously also played futsal. I found that futsal helps a lot to become a better football player. Yeah. And how is the scenario now in uh, Goa? Uh, in Goa, actually, to be honest with you, I think there are a lot of good futsal players, but uh, we do not have the right knowledge of futsal, what is the correct, proper futsal. Uh, we tend to play on artificial courts with a football, uh, not using the fut futsal rules, you know. Uh, futsal rules, and then and then when we don't use the futsal rules, the game becomes like a football match where there are sliding tackles, there is shoving, there is pushing, and that is not actually futsal. Futsal is a game which is more technical, where there are less falls, you know, there is less challenges, there are less sliding tackles. It is a more technical game, it's a more skillful game, it's a more tactical game. And this you can do only if we have good coaches who teach and promote the correct so, futsal. So, uh, the coaches in futsal are not the same football coaches? No, no, you cannot have, uh, I mean, if a coach wants to do futsal and football licenses, he can do, but… But the licenses are also separate? Yes, the licenses for futsal and the licenses and, for uh, football. And you need license. referees? Yes, you need so, referees. So, uh, football referees and futsal referees are also different? Yes, they are different. So, uh, in, in other words, it uh, simply means that uh, uh, they complement each other, but differently? Yes, they complement each other, but they are a sport by itself. Uh, so, you could say there are two different sports? Yes, correct. There are two different sports. Yeah. A and uh, how is the adaptability of football players now in Goa to futsal? Yeah. So, if I would give you an example, uh, sometime back, uh, you know, uh, a coach educator, uh, Asian coach educator who was that time, at that time, the national coach of the Iran national futsal team. So, he invited the Iran national football team players to come and have a practice match against the Iran national futsal team in futsal. And the futsal team beat the Iran football team very easily. Is it? Yes. So, that just goes to show you that if you are a football player and you without having any knowledge of futsal and you come to play on a futsal pitch, it is very difficult. Because on a smaller pitch, you need to make faster decisions, you need to be quicker with your feet. You know, it's not necessarily that you need to be 6 foot 4, 6 foot 5 to play, to be good at futsal. But you can be small, you can, you know, you can be, you don't need to be so strong. Definitely, you have to be strong because there are a lot of movements, there are a lot of, there is a lot of physicality also in modern day futsal. But a futsal player with his ball control can go on a football pitch and I can assure you that he won't lose the ball. You know, it might take him some time to adapt to maybe from making a pass which is just 5 meters to making a longer pass, but definitely he'll have better ball control, he'll better have better sense than a football player who will come onto a futsal pitch. So, you would advise our local Goan boys that they should also take little time off and uh, devote for futsal uh, to improve th their skills. Actually, I would suggest that, you know, all the professional clubs, all the professional clubs, like how Japan, the national team of Japan, they have a futsal coach for their senior football team. Is it? Yes, and they train futsal once a week, the futsal tactics. Pep Guardiola, for example, in off-season, he advises all his players to play futsal. So, you know, you are in Goa also, I think, professional football clubs should introduce futsal. Yeah, but, then, but in, uh, in Goa, you don't have so many courts or uh, indoor stadiums. Yeah, actually, we do have indoor stadiums. You know, we have the Sham Prasad, we have the Pede Stadium, we have also the Manohar Parikar Stadium and we have Choglis. So, the, uh, the, could uh, futsal be played in this stadium? Yes, definitely. So, they are the same as the KD Jadav Stadium, which we played in in uh, Delhi. Yeah. It's the same wooden court. And but I believe they charge uh, quite a uh, yes, hell of uh, Yes. So, I think fees. if the government supports, you know, and they can give these type of uh, surfaces for us to organize maybe the state championship and, you know, other championships at a, you know, a feasible rate, it would help futsal a lot. Yeah. And then, when you organized the first uh, state futsal championship in Goa, how was it? 
uh, I think the first in the first state futsal championship, we noticed that you know we have a lot of talented futsal players. So there are there is talent in yes, Goa yes. for futsal. Yes, there is, there is. a lot, a yeah. lot. But then now to improve, what needs to be done? To improve, we need to start from the grassroots. We need to introduce futsal at the grassroots. We need to organize more tournaments for under eight, under ten, under twelve at the grassroots. So at the moment, there is nothing for the uh, grassroots. At the moment, there is only one tournament that happens yearly, the under 10, which is organized, which we organize since 2017. I started the under 10 category. Uh, four years now we have organized it. Uh, only during the pandemic we had to take a break. But other than that, we don't have any futsal tournaments per se. It is all football tournaments. So just like uh, you have uh, in football, you have got uh, under 12, under 14, yes. under 16. So you'll have to replicate uh, yes. this for futsal. Correct. AIFF already has it in their Golden Baby Leagues. They already have a format where you can organize futsal for these age groups. It is possible. Yes, it, it is, is possible. possible. It is possible. And uh, though you don't have a team at the senior level, or do you have a team at the senior uh, level right now, in futsal? Right now, uh, India, yes, if, you, if the news is, I think it's out already on social media. It's not confirmed, but it's out on social media that uh, India is to host the 2024 Asian Cup. Is it? Yes. And uh, India is also planning on having a senior team in in this year. And also Minerva Punjab, the winners of this year's National Futsal Championship, will be representing India in the AFC Cup this year. So there is a good grow. Yeah, there is a roadmap for futsal in India now. Yeah. Yes. So uh, uh, what you think in Goa needs to be done now? In Goa, first and foremost, I think we have to organize a good proper tournament and show the people of Goa what proper futsal is the rules, the regulations, how futsal is a safer sport so that coaches of clubs that are in Goa realize that futsal is not dangerous. They feel futsal is dangerous is because boys go and play five-a-side football and they put in bad tackles during the off-season and they get ankle injuries, knee injuries. And whatever is being done now, they play with a full-size football. Yes, correct. Exactly. The ball as yes, such. Correct. Whereas uh, the ball is different. The ball is different. So there's a there's a difference in the futsal futsal and a football. A football is for senior level. It is a five size football which is lighter, and a futsal ball is heavier with less less or zero bounce is what they say. Yeah. And it is four size. Yeah. But uh, you went uh, for the nationals, not representing Goa. Yes. But you were with uh, some other team. Yes. Uh, uh, how 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 did that happen? Yeah, so in the first national championship in 2021, there was a friend of mine who, you know, he was the goalkeeping coach of Mohammedan Sporting. It's a, it's a, you know, it's a legend club from Calcutta. So he approached me saying that, you know, we'll put a futsal team for this since Mohammedans has already put in their, uh, they wanted to participate. The I-League teams get, get direct entry in the first season. Is it? Yes, the first season, just the first season, the I-League team get a direct entry. So I said, okay, we'll make a team. So I think I took about nine Goan boys and six boys from Maharashtra and we went for the first national futsal championship. It was a very, I would say, a very amateur team but we did well. We ended up in runners-up position in the first national championship. Runners-up? Yes. Just a combination of… Uh, yes, just uh, a combination of few friends who played futsal for many years, uh, you know. And and you were their coach? Yes, I was a coach come player in the first season. Is it? You yes, played yes, also? Yes, I played also. And you could also coach? Yes, yeah. so it was, a, it was a pretty tough job to, you know, play and coach at the same time and especially at the highest level, uh, it takes a toll on you. So, in the second season, uh, Mohammedans approached me again and uh, this time for the state championship because this time you had to qualify through the state championship and we won the state championship. So, you, you have been the champions in Kolkata? Yes, we were the champions in so Kolkata. So, because you are the champions, you could go for the yes, nationals? correct. And it was and the first time the state championship was held in Kolkata and Mohammedans was the champion. Yeah, and this time also you ended up as the Yeah, up. so this time also unfortunately ended up on the losing <laughs> side again. Yeah. But… Uh, and how many Goan players were there? Uh, this year I had uh, five Goan players. Because this time, Goa had no representation yes, yes. at the futsal yes. championship. But uh, we had five Goan players in my team, plus uh, <coughs> I had recommended some Goan players for another team also. Jagannaths had a Goan player, then there was one player in Minerva Punjab also. Is it? Yes. So there was a Goan player here and there who played. And uh, you know, but uh, this year I feel there was the futsal championship was much better. There were more tactics. and. Uh, so is futsal overall growing now? Yeah, definitely. People have understood what proper futsal is. Okay. Especially at the national championship, they take it very seriously. Uh, clubs like Minerva Punjab, Delhi FC, you know, their owner Ranjit Bajaj is uh, taking futsal very seriously and he makes sure that there was, he trained for one month before these championships. Now, uh, why such a scenario is not happening in Goa? 
because I don't see, except for sporting maybe, uh, uh, they had filled the team last year. Yeah. Uh, this year there was no championship, so yes. nobody knows about uh, how serious are the senior teams. Yes. So I think uh, unfortunately, you know, there is no structure in uh, Goa right now for futsal, and uh, I hope the you know the new committee, GFA committee, can promote this sport. Uh, there were plans to have it this season, but I guess because of uh, how would I say? I mean, you know, they had a very short term and a lot of tournaments to be held. But definitely, I have already suggested to them that in June, July next year, they should have a state championship, so that the team can qualify for the upcoming the third national club championship. Yeah, uh, and you have always been connected with the youth uh, uh, football club. That, yes, that's uh, uh, managed by your father. Yes, so yeah, so FC YFA, that is football club YFA, and you know uh, youth futsal academy. So we have a futsal academy that's running for the last 11 years. So, is there any other uh, futsal academy in Goa uh, or yours is the See, one? as per my knowledge, uh, I don't know anyone else who trains on the proper futsal surface. So, definitely we have been training at Choglays, which is a proper futsal surface for the last 11 years. And we have developed many futsal players into football players. So, that is why now from our academy, we also have our under 13 football team that takes part for football tournaments, our under 15 football team. And we also have plans on putting, uh, starting an under-18 football Recently, team. you played uh, in some uh, uh, age group tournament and you scored uh, 20 or so many goals. Yes. Are these the same boys? Yes. So, these are most of these boys, 80-90% of these boys have been training futsal for the last 8-9 years. Okay. Yes. And you talk about uh, your academy. Is this the one and only academy in Goa? Uh, as per my knowledge, it's the, the one and only futsal academy in India. Is it? Yes, because there is no one training exclusive futsal in the whole of India. And this is also as per information that I have received from AFC also, that there is no other academy that is there in India that trains exclusively for futsal. Now, in Brazil, I was told most of the big players have come through futsal. Yes, definitely. Robinho, even you see the current stars like Richardson, Neymar, all are futsal players in Neymar the Neymar also came Yes, Neymar, came definitely. Through. There are a lot of videos on YouTube that you would see. What Neymar. about Cristiano Ronaldo? Yes, Cristiano Ronaldo also in Portugal has played futsal in his younger days. Yes, and you attribute their growth for uh, being a futsal player. Yes, definitely. It's not only me who attributes their growth, but if you ask their coaches or if you ask even themselves, you see a lot of interviews, you can, you know, watch it and they will tell you that it is because of futsal is why they have the ball control, is why, you know, they have the vision, the decision making is so good of theirs, is because of futsal. Yeah, but uh, uh, you need coaches also for that. Yes. Do you have, you are the one and only, I suppose, coach in uh, No, I, I, am, I am the only AFC level 2 coach in India. In India? Yeah, the level 2. So, in, in, in futsal, we have level 1, which is, you know, AFC level 1, AFC level 2, AFC level 3, and then we have the AFC pro license in futsal. So, I'm the one, only one who has done the level 2, but we have around 80 coaches who have do, done the level 1. So, there are number of coaches yes, in India? there are. Uh, what about Goa? Uh, Goa, we have uh, quite a few, around 6 to 8 coaches. Is it? Yes. Is it? Yes. So, but that means 6 coaches, there should have been quite a number of teams. Yes, but sadly the 6 coaches, are most of them are from my academy only. Okay. Yes, so, <laughs> okay. But yes, there are few coaches outside my academy, but uh, again, you know, there are, uh, futsal is not something that you can easily get into, is because, you know, you need finance and you need to see a road map. So, people don't really, you know, they choose futsal, like when we chose futsal, when my dad chose futsal back in 2012, you know, everybody used to make fun of him. And they should say, what will you do with futsal? You know, where is, where are you going with futsal? You know, what is futsal? Football is the thing that is happening in Goa. But then today, if you see, we have earned a lot of respect because we have made good football players through futsal. Many of our players have joined good clubs like FC Goa, Salgonkar, Churchill, playing futsal. Not only boys, but also girls. Girls also play futsal? Yes, 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 definitely. In Goa? Yes, definitely. Because you had the championship only for men yes, last year. Yes, we did have the championship only for men. Yeah. Only, I think, uh, college they had for women yes, correct, last year. Yes, correct. And do they have futsal at the school level? Uh, they don't have futsal at the school level, but that is another suggestion that I made, that uh, we need to have an under-8, under-10, under-12 and under-14 futsal tournament for inter-school. Yeah. So, in the coming season, hopefully… Uh, are schools interested in futsal? Yes, schools are definitely interested in futsal. Uh, King School, for example, you know, they have, they have, uh, they have uh, constructed a nice futsal surface in their school and they have also a coach there who has done a level one. Is well, it? Yes, yes. Is yes. It? yes so there. And uh, are there many uh, referees who are available? Uh, referees to, from to Goa. matches, you need to have referees. Uh, from Goa, we have only one referee who has refereed at a national level. Is it? 
Yeah. Who, who is yeah, he? He uh, is Clinton Pacheco. Okay. He is a coach at, uh, at a Youth Futsal Academy. Yeah. yeah. So he is with you? Yes, he is with me. He, so you have now uh, everything connected with the Futsal? Yes. So yes. Uh, see, as a, as a coach educator, as you know, someone who has been tasked with, uh, you know, bringing up Futsal the right way, I think it is important for me to promote Futsal in the correct way. Yeah. You know, to so you have you have a very very big responsibility. Yes, yes. That and is that is what I have been tasked with by AFC, by my by my mentors also from AFC. That is the uh, coach Chu Chun Yong, who is the head coach of the Malaysian national team, and coach uh, uh, Shahab Soflamanesh, who is uh, the assistant coach of the Iran futsal team. Is it? Yes. And now you are organizing uh, another uh, uh, coaching uh, course. Yes. What is this coaching course? So the AFC futsal level one is a basic coaching course for you to start your pathway to become a futsal coach. So in India, we have had a total of, this is the 11th course. The 11th course. Yes, the first. And, and if I'm not mistaken, you had organized uh, one or two courses earlier in Goa itself. Yes, correct. So we organized our first course in 2018. Uh, the second one was in 2019. And this is the third one we are organizing in Goa in 2023. And how many, how many coaches would be attending? Uh, this one actually, this is this course has the most number of coaches attended in a level one course in India. That is, sixteen coaches are attending uh, from all over India. From all over India. So. And uh, from Goa, are there any? From Goa, we have four coaches. Four coaches. Yes. Yeah. So, so what do you do exactly in this uh, course? Yeah. So we teach you the basics of futsal. You know, the techniques, basic techniques of futsal. You know, passing, supporting, uh, ball control, shooting. And also we touch upon slightly of the rotations, the type of formations, the type of systems in futsal, that is 2-2, 1-2-1, 4-0 and 3-1. So we... we and and uh, what's the duration of your course? Uh, it's a six-day course. So it's uh, theory sessions are in the mornings from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then we have the practical sessions from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. So you will be assisted by somebody? Yes, so or? this time I will be assisted by Veera Babu Sivanini. Okay, so he is also my assistant in uh, the AIFF introductory courses that we have online. So we have conducted around, you can say, 30 AIFF introductory courses online. And this was started by the head coach, Coach Savio Medera, because of the pandemic. Just okay. to keep so continuity. Savio Medera is also involved in futsal. Yes, he is the coach. He is the head. He is the co head of coach education all India Football Federation. So okay. he has supported me in promoting futsal in the right way. Yeah. And uh, when you talk about your national championships, you attended two championships yes. now. Last year and this year, was have you seen some growth in uh, futsal in India in the last two years? Yes. So if you see in the first national championship, they were not the, the coaches were not so well. Uh, they did not understand futsal. You know, they, it was more of a football game on the futsal, on the futsal pitch because the referees also did not know the rules much. So there was a lot of tackling. There was a lot of you know sliding tackles, etc. But this year, if you see, uh, two, three coaches attended the level one courses before they came to the national championship, in which I taught them a lot of tactics. So if you see this year, there were a lot of goals that were scored because of tactics. And that is one of the main aspects of futsal, tactics. And uh, in Goa, do you have any of these so-called all Goa tournaments? Uh, futsal? Yeah. Uh, see, I can only tell you that Choglays used to organize a very nice futsal tournament, uh, but it has been stopped since the pandemic. So, seven years in a row, they organized a futsal tournament, which was uh, 32 team league come knockout. Teams. Yes, 32 teams. Quite league. a, quite a. Yes, yeah, so it was, it teams. had the same format as a World Cup. Is it? Yeah, so it was eight groups of four teams. Each team played three matches and then it went and to the knockout And what about stage. the attendance from the public? Very good, very good. It was excellent. The, it used to be a houseful for all is match it? days. Is yes. it? Yes. So, you think, uh, so there is a scope for futsal in Goa? I think there is a very, very huge scope. Uh, I'm not only talking about the professional football players, but I know a lot of players who are not professional football players who play futsal and are very good. Is it? Yes. And uh, you have any good outdoor courts uh, now in Goa for yeah, futsal? We have outdoor courts. Yes, we do have. I think uh, uh, we can say the, the den at Ribandar, you know, and also I think there is one that is come at Dombosco Fatorda. Although the surface is a little abrasive because of, you know, the mat, the kind of mat. But uh, yes, if you want to play outdoor futsal, that is a good surface because the ball will move faster. Whereas on artificial grass, you know, the artificial grass, the football grass, the ball moves slow because of the rubber and the silica that is there. And uh, last year, I think they had the inter-college Goa University Championship. Yes, they did at the den. Yes. So how was it? Did you uh, attend any of those matches? Uh, actually, you... at that time, I, I wasn't able to attend because I was conducting a level one course okay. in uh, Gujarat. Yeah. 
yeah but uh, yes uh, i think it, it was organized by uh, michael dr michael and i think dr savio yes so, so i think it was a very good championship there was a lot of talent seen lot of players because most of these players college students lot of them play futsal okay you know they play and uh, these coaches also they have knowledge of futsal but we still need to guide them on some rules regulations so you have a very very big uh, role to play yes very big very big if futsal has to grow yes. i think it depends on you uh you can not it doesn't depend only on me yes i am i am very i like to promote what is correct futsal you know i try to give the correct knowledge to the people of goa but in the end it is up to all the goans to accept you know what is the correct way of playing futsal have they agreed with you to say that you can become a better football player if you take up a futsal uh, i think many coaches have already realized that but they are they are still not ready to accept that you know the the correct kind of futsal is played indoors on a flat and hard surface rather than uh, outdoors on artificial grass where you use a football and you don't use the correct rules of futsal so what happens with coaches is they always want to safeguard their players and when you play football and you know when you play tournaments where you know there are where there is betting going on outside you know people tend to put in bad challenges bad tackles and these good players get injured and when they get injured then the coach will say you all went to play futsal but that is not futsal that is okay. you're playing you're playing football there so i think uh, you have uh, a very big uh, role to play for the development of futsal which in turn will also help in the growth of football in goa yes. because the goan football team is not uh, doing uh, well and maybe you could influence them through futsal to play a better football yeah, i i i i wouldn't say the team is not doing well i think yes the results did not go their way but uh, yeah we need to encourage the younger generation to play futsal so that we make better football players who can you know be faster on the pitch who can make better decision making if you see the europeans their first touch their decision making is is far higher than our indians and the reason for that is futsal is futsal yes so we wish you all the best uh, joshua and uh, continue with your good work and uh, we'll meet sometime uh, to know how far you have uh, grown in this futsal in goa especially thank you very much for being with the herald tv yeah thank you sir